This is a video explaining some of the caveats you'll experience when replacing the screen or the digitizer on the iPhone 3GS. Once you've removed the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone as explained in the other video, I recommend you use the suction cup tool, not the pry tool, in order to pull the digitizer away from the iPhone. After you've lifted the digitizer and disconnected the cables, you'll notice there's a small thin gasket material that holds the digitizer to the digitizer frame. This will need to be scraped away with a fingernail or a soft piece of plastic like a credit card and won't be replaced. That will leave a gap between the digitizer and the iPhone itself. Personally, I don't mind it and I'm not interested in trying to replace it. After scraping away the thin gasket, you'll need to peel the digitizer off the stickers and away from the digitizer frame. You need to get every last piece of glass and every last bit of sticker off of the digitizer frame so that the new digitizer, when replaced and adhered with the stickers, will be flush against the frame for a professional looking finish. It's not hard to do, it just takes a few extra minutes to clean up the digitizer frame. Use extra care when reconnecting the cables and adhering the digitizer to the digitizer frame. You want it to be exactly straight of course. Anything crooked will be almost impossible to unstick without breaking the digitizer glass. All in all it's a pretty easy repair. After you have the phone reassembled put the phone back in the case that way if you drop it again you'll know you've done all you can to protect it even if the digitizer is rebroken.